Hey guys, it feels like I haven't actually filmed like this in uh, in my own flat for quite a while now, so it feels a bit weird. But yeah, I'm back with another review for you guys. Been meaning to do this one for quite a while because I've had the unboxing. Um, I've shown you guys the shoe, but yeah, I've been meaning to do this review, and I'm finally getting around to do it. So yeah, I hope you guys like the shoe. So as you guys can tell by the title, the shoe that I am going to be reviewing today, the Nike and Clock collaboration, um, the Air Lunar Force One. Really, really nice shoe. Um, for me, the look of the shoes spot on something I'm definitely going for the simplicity of it the jewel swoosh has definitely sealed it for me and then you've got that gum sole which just tops it off so I'll give you guys a quick look at the shoe now and then I'll go into more detail about it so the shoe comes in this white Nike box as most of their new uh, releases are starting to come in uh, special kind of releases starting to come in this, these kind of boxes really nice really clean um, dope box. I'll quickly flash up a picture of the tag for you guys. So as you can tell it's Luna Force One Fuse SP Clock UK7 US8. It's neutral grey, university red, uh, royal white. So the shoes came in with a couple of extras, oh, which is always quite nice. You've got these two extra ba badges that I'm assuming you can stitch on clothing and stuff like that, just like little accessories. One says Luna Force with the clock symbol on there and the other one says Luna Night Force. And then you also get this really nice dust bag, really premium, uh, quite heavy, Luna Nike Force, and on the back, Luna Force with that clock symbol as well. So for those of you who don't know, Clot are a massive company, um, kind of like style, life goods and streetwear um, in Hong Kong. Founded in about 2003, since then they've done quite a few collaborations with Nike and stuff, most of you guys probably know already. So the shoe itself, guys, is really, really clean. As you know, it's an Air Force One. On the side of the shoe, you have got that blue Nike Jewel swoosh, and on the inside, it's contrasting with a red Nike Jewel swoosh. The Jewel swoosh is really, really nice. A lot of people didn't like it um, on the Air Force, but something that's really sold the shoe for me, which I'll flash up so you guys can see. Really dope, love gum outsole. Um, and then it's on that white Luna Air Force One midsole, which is really nice. Um, on the uppers, you've got that mesh, that hyperfuse, and this kind of grey material here. Um, it looked like a cotton, it felt like um, it was going to be some kind of cotton, but it feels really like plastic, kind of um, synthetic material, um, which is strange, it's not what I expected. And then you've got that really breathable mesh on the toe box and also on the mid paneling as well. And towards the back of the shoe, you have got the Luna um, and Clock Force logo at the back. This also commemorating the 10th anniversary of the Air Force, as you can tell there's a 10 at the back in that symbol. And then the tongue is quite strange, um, it's kind of built into the shoe, if you guys can see that, it's kind of built in so it's almost like a, a sock. Um, and you've also got the Luna Force Clock logo on there as well. That's a whole mesh kind of material, so really, really soft and comfy. Um, inside, you've got mesh and a blue insole, if you guys can see that, I'm sure you can. Um, and then you've got these white flat laces to top it off. So just a really clean, dope shoe, uh, really simple. Also on the insole, it says about the detail property of Nike. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. Um, what I will do is I'll put up an image of that if I can uh, get a good picture. I'll quickly load that so you guys can see. The shoes also come with these extra laces, guys. They are grey laces, just some grey flats and a bag on the side. So you can switch it up if you do want to. Like I said, the extras, extras in this pack is really, really nice. The detailing and stuff. It's really cool, you feel like you're getting uh, more for your money. So yeah, these retailed at about £129. I picked them up from endclothing.co.uk, which is a massive streetwear store for those of you who don't know already. Yeah, they're a really easy pickup, which I'm quite surprised because clot stuff usually sells out quite quick. I do believe it's because of the model, um, but I really like what they've done. I think they've done an amazing job. They've kind of kept it really simple, but done something different if that makes sense so the colorway is really simple it's really clean you've got that gum the white the gray um, kept the swooshes minimalist but it's something we haven't seen before so all the materials the hyperfuse that color it looks like it's kind of like a cotton but as I've said it's not it's more of like a, a hard plasticky synthetic material and then you put that mesh um, that breathable mesh at the front um, that gum outsole is just, just classic 
uh, white midsole, just really, really clean, nice shoe. Unfortunately, I'm not a massive Air Force fan, so I didn't know if I would particularly like this shoe. But getting it in hand, I do like it, but I'm still, I'm still unsure just because um, I feel like they look really chunky on my feet. And it's not this shoe in particular, it's this Air Force. Yeah, I'm going to give it a go, see what they look like. If not, I'll just have to let them go. But really, really dope shoe nonetheless. Still really beautiful looking shoe. So yeah, the, they've used that usual distinctive feature they use on uh, most of their shoes, Clot. They've gave it that kind of transparent, um, that transparent toe box with that mesh that's really, really breathable. But that's nice, you know, it's something you can expect from them. It's this kind of, I, I think the shoe's really... Um, really collaborate in uh, the modern technologies and the kind of old classics together. You've got that really simple colorway with the whites and the gum and stuff, just proper classic shoe. And then it's kind of using the new tech, like Hyperfuse, Vactec, um, Luna. And then you've got that bit of old on there with the gum and the jeweled swooshes. So it's really, really nice. I like how they kind of did the inverted as well. So you've got the red on the inside and the blue on the outside. Really dope shoe, really nice, really good quality. I love the extras. I think, um, I'm just really surprised guys that this kind of shoe doesn't sell out that quick, but something um, that Nike could just put out willy nilly and charge like 140 quid. People will go mad for it and just sell out instantly. It's just crazy um, what people decide to buy. But yeah, I'm gonna quickly whack these on feet so you guys can see and get a better look for the shoe. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, that is my review on the Night Clock Luna Force 1s. Really dope shoe, really nice with all the little extras and stuff. Retail was about right, £130, it's quite steep for an Air Force, I'm not going to lie, but you do get quite a lot of the extras and um, it's a really well put together and well thought out shoe. Um, so yeah, you can't go wrong really, to be honest. It kind of justifies the money a bit when you see all of these extras, the detailing and uh, all of like the new technologies and stuff all in the shoes, quite nice to see. So yeah, if you are thinking about getting the shoe guys, Air Forces run a tiny bit big, so half size down if you really want to. I am going to be back with another video very soon guys. Um, I haven't really been too consistent, as I've said in some of my previous videos. It's just because I'm having massive Wi-Fi issues at my flat at the minute. So I'm going between mine and my girlfriend's flat, but I will be uploading videos more frequently. So hit that thumbs up if you like this video, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'll be back again with another video soon. Thanks for watching, guys.